This is a video on how to make a clothes peg catapult. For this activity you'll need a wooden peg, a wood block, sandpaper or scissors, paint which is water based or washable, a paintbrush, Gorilla Glue or Craft Glue. So to begin with I'm getting the wooden block and you can see I've got my craft glue ready here and I put it onto the bottom of the wooden peg. Then position the peg in the centre of the block and press down firmly with my fingers. And you have to press down for about five minutes and it's also a good idea to allow the glue time to set and dry. You'll need a few hours for this. Next step is getting the bottled cap and then you can use sandpaper or scissors to scratch the top of the bottle cap just to make sure that it's rough so it will bind to the wood. Just putting the glue on here and then sticking it onto the end of the peg. Then holding it in place for a little while and again allow this time to dry. You can see me pushing the peg there and the bottle cap lifting up for the catapult effect. I'm just moving it a little bit more towards the end of the peg there, and then pushing it back into place. Now I am adding some colour. This is a bit where you can have a little bit of fun with this and paint it however you like. I'm just doing a base coat of white here. Making sure I get into all the nooks and crannies, and uh, and yeah, and just doing the side, the bottom, and the two ends of the block. And I needed a few coats here to cover the wood. After this I use some red, blue and white paint to just add a little bit of colour and make it look a bit nicer. You can have fun and paint it whatever colour you like and put some patterns on it. And then your catapult is finished. Allow an hour or so for your catapult to fully dry and then you can get it out, put it on the carpet and just slam your palm down onto the peg and there you have your finished catapult. Have fun with it and if you'd like to see more activities keep an eye on our social media such as Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching.